Toll Road here, and I'm just south of Baraboo, Wisconsin, and I am at the Guinness Book of World Records, world's largest scrap metal sculpture, the Forever Tron. Buck up, kids. You're about ready to take a ride on the toll road. Now entering the world of Dr. Evermore. And the Forever Tron. Beyond Bizarre. I like Beyond Bizarre. Whoa. Before I even get to the main thing. Oh, this is crazy. This looks like a uh, peacock. Peacock with horns. Mm. What is this machine here? This looks like a machine of war. <laughs> it's almost look like a thermometer. This takes a creative mind right here. And maybe a case of lining kugel. It's kind of cool too. They get that little gauges on the Looks like we're at about a uh, negative 40 uh, Celsius. That's pretty dang cold. I should have wore a jacket. So the Forever Tron right off, right off the freeway, it's pretty easy to find. It's free. They do accept donations. And you know, this took a lot of work. Drop a couple bucks in for the guy. I believe this is the main piece here, the Forevermore. Roped off to keep a riffraff like myself from learning the secrets. Looks like it might light up at night. Look at this giant telescope up here. Looks like something maybe Marvin Martian might have. This is some really cool mad scientist stuff here. Oh, I wish I could go up to the top of that. No, nothing better than rusted dangerous steps that's right up my alley. But alas, you know how legal stuff goes nowadays. Look at this. If I was smart, I could tell you where these parts even came from. I'm not. You know, at the very least, this is probably a million dollars worth of scrap metal. You're probably saying to yourself, Really? Nah, probably not, but come on, just go with me. A million dollars is a nice round number. Oh, yeah. Lightning strikes that, powers that, does that, and we shall rule the world. <laughs> That's why they got us blocked off here. High voltage. Classic car alert. We've got the Bodatron. <laughs> May not be seaworthy. I don't know. Not too nautically sound myself. Old VW van. Seagrave truck. That's a big boy. This guy here looks like he's gritting his teeth on me. I bet you at night this thing is creepy. This old Buick probably comes alive. This Buick 8. Probably eating a few people in its day. Probably got tired of all the people sitting on it and breaking wind and ruining his seat. Now at night, he gets up, kicks out the dandelions out of his way and eats whoever's in front of it. I have entered the land of horny birds. There's a saxophone bird. Look at that's pretty cool. He's got some pinchers there. Man, 
and look at this. I'm I'm in a flock. <laughs> I'm a flock. I should have got my tetanus shot before I visited here. It's been a while. Here's the tuba bird. Maybe it's a sousaphone. I don't know. I'm not that musically inclined. Look at all the different instruments here. That looks like a gas pump for a gas nozzle for a head. Look at all of this. Check out the plume on this bird right here. This is got a bunch of chimes up there. The one time I'm videoing where I wish it was windy. Uh oh. Some tell me not to walk up. Do not climb. Oh, come on. It's so tempting. It is so tempting. Man, this just keeps going. Look at this big uh, how, cello. I don't know. Let's get a look at that. Oh, it's got a bird head on it, too. That's. That's the big bird. That's crazy. Oh, I had a little wind. Yeah, that was a tease. Oh, this ostrich stuck his head in the sand. Look at all this crazy stuff. Look at this one here. A giant spider or something you'd see on a movie. Looks like something that uh, Marvel would be fighting, Marvel superheroes. Check out this, looks like big bird head. We've got a whole orchestra of birds here. We're only missing one thing. Orchestra needs a conductor. Play that funky music, bird boy. And before you think it's just birds here, no, look at this. Frogs in the house, lead singer. Me, 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 me. Apparently before I was just looking at the butt of the beast. Look at this thing, that's crazy. I'm allowed to walk up this. So the bird head here, look at the eyeballs of this. Different markers from different states. We got South Carolina, survey mark from Illinois. That's pretty cool. And look at all this cool stuff. And my suspicions earlier about the lining kugel. I mean, even the same brand may, may have been correct. Oh my. We can go into the Wow, that's pretty cool. A lot of they sell some artwork here. Look at those. Look at these things here. I think they have some for sale outside. displays are just ever growing they're even working on one right over here right now 
what it'll be. I don't know. They won't tell me. Actually, they would if I ask. I see. Got a couple old Crosleys here. This one looks like it belonged to Roscoe the Clown. So this is a clown car. This would fit. Uh, 36, 38, 452 clowns could fit inside of that, believe it or not. It's like another item that came from the big top. What this is. Uh, stop asking me what stuff is. I, I don't, I, having learned by now, I don't know anything. <laughs> Those are some big truck balls, though. <laughs> what? Wow. I was going to do it now at Dr. Evermore's forever tron here just outside of baraboo wisconsin and let me ask you after you've seen all this seen some of the other places i've been do you do you know do you have a clue do you have a guess who out there knows who knows who knows where the toll road will lead to next.